Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Nucom 9's FSR frame generation and OptiScaler XCSS frame generation mods in Wuchang Fallen Feathers. This tutorial will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Wuchang is a source-like action role-playing game. I tested the game day one of its release. It suffered from performance issues. It has received a performance improving update since its release in the form of patch 1.5. With this new update, random NPC encounters do not disable the in-game frame generation, thank god. In the launch version, random NPCs running into us were causing the in-game frame generation to get disabled, leading to a very jarring experience. Nukem 9's mod works very nicely in this game. On RTX GPUs, it will enable reflex as well which will help in cutting down the latency but it does produce a noticeable graphical artifact. There are some feathers on Wu Chang's left arm. These feathers exhibit some ghosting during fast visual motion with Nukem 9's mod FSR frame generation enabled. This ghosting does not occur when using XCSS frame generation. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. Before jumping into the gameplay, would like to thank Xbox and Keymailer for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires. Games from first party Microsoft Studio and even third party studios are available on PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included and in India Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. Just download OptiScaler's latest test build version 0.9 preview 1 available on their discord server. This build adds support for XCSS frame generation. Click on the dot 7 z link here. You don't need to use Nucom 9 Smart if you just want to enable OptiScaler XCSS frame generation. Now I'll download Nucom 9 Smart. Build version 0.130 Universal. Available on Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Click on Slow Download. I'll be using NVIDIA app to override DLSS Upscaler to the latest version. We'll be verifying the Upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close. And run this registry file. If you want to disable the DLSS debug overlay, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Open. Yes. Ok. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. AMD Fidelity FX DX12. XCSS files. Fake NV API files. They will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. OptiScaler files. Copy. Open Xbox PC app. Go to your library. Select Wuchang. Click on the three dots here. Click on manage. Click on files. Click on browse. Open the games install directory. Open content folder. Project underscore plague folder. Binaries folder. WinGTK folder. Paste everything here. Change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. Now I'll install Nucom 9's mod. Open its archive file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy this dll file. dlsg 2 fsr 3 amd is better. Paste it in the same directory where you install optiscaler mod. Binary is WinGTK right here. Now I'll override DLSS subscaler via NVIDIA app. Open NVIDIA app, go to graphics, click on the three dots here, click on refresh. Here all of the games installed on your PC will show up. Look for Wu Chang. There it is. Select it. Click on the pencil icon next to TLSS override model preset setting. Select the second option. Use different settings for each TLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below super resolution. Select latest, click on apply. 
Enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCSS frame generation, but it is a mandatory requirement for using Nucum 9's mod FSR frame generation. Right click anyway on your desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar select Wuchang Fallen Feathers. Scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode, enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional, click on display and check this setting, G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game, I'll use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Afterburner or RTSS can affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod. The mod even comes with its own performance overlay, I'll be enabling it as well. Graphic settings, display mode set to borderless windowed, very important for using XSS frame generation. Resolution full HD, VSync is off. Motion Blur Disable, again very important, Depth of Field Disabled as well, Advanced Graphic Settings, Upscaler, I have set it to TLSS, Resolution Scale 67%, basically the quality preset of TLSS, Frame Generation, Disable for the time being, yeah, not accessible on my RTX 2070 Super GPU as expected, Reflex is on, Post Processing Settings set to low, rest of the settings set to mid, Except for vegetation quality, global illumination and ambient occlusion, they are set to low. We are in this Wu Chang standing at the entrance of Reverend Temple. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Make sure DLSS subscaler is selected from this drop down bar. Version shown here is incorrect as I have overwritten DLSS subscaler via NVIDIA app. Check out DLSS debug hole in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K. And yeah, this is the transformer model of DLSS 4 version 310.3.0 base resolution 720p upscale to full HD DLSS auto expose setting is on this setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects also fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects no frame generation I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay expand FPS overlay section check this setting FPS overlay enabled full plus graph Save and I close, show you the base game performance first. 60 FPS, thick foliage, hitting the GPU bottleneck, random NPC encounter. This used to disable in-game frame generation in the launch version of the game. <laughs> no idea why, led to a very jarring experience, thank god the developers removed this feature. Yeah, FPS stays around 60. Just observe the feathers on Wu Chang's left arm. These feathers exhibit some coasting when we enable Nukem 9's mod. Okay, first I'll enable Nukem 9's mod. Open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG Source and select Nukem's TLSSG. Now just click on Save INA here. Close. We need to restart the game for the change to take place. Play. Go to advanced graphics settings. Set frame generation to on. Setting is accessible now. DLSS frame generation set to 2 times. Set the in game sharpening level to 0. Load the same sequence standing at the entrance of Reverend Temple. First, I'll show you the debug view. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Game's HUD won't flicker with mod FSI enabled. Only DLSS debug overlay is showing in the bottom middle image. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Games HUD won't flicker with mod FSR frame gen enabled. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Yeah, just observe the feathers on Wu Chang's left arm. I'll spin the camera. The feathers are producing a ghosting like effect. I am recording this video using OBS, 
OBS software may not be able to capture this ghosting effect so if you have the game installed on your PC just look out for this graphical artifact compare the same sequence with XSS frame generation enabled you won't be seeing these graphical artifacts then random NPC encounter did not disable mod FSR frame generation 94 to 110 FPS I'm noticing some stuttering game's performance is still rough even with the performance improving update this is disappointing frame generation is not a solution for a game's poor performance just observe Wu Chang's shadow Nukam Nai's mod makes it look a bit blurry during motion this issue is present even with the official FSR frame generation implementation smoothing effect of the mod works very nicely latency is not an issue reflex is doing a good job of keeping the latency in check just make sure your base fps doesn't drop below 60 this game requires quick inputs ok now i'll enable optiscale xss frame generation click on the drop down bar next to fg source and select tlssg via streamline this game supports tlss frame generation and streamline version newer than version 2 so this fg source will work we won't be required to deal with hotfix click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xcfg click on save INI close restart the game play go to advanced setting make sure frame generation is enabled set TLSS frame generation to 2 time we are in open optiscalar menu check this setting active under frame generation xcfg current streamline frame generation state on optiscalar's frame time graph it became thick xcss frame gen is working check the debug view you'll see these purple sidebars if xcss frame generation is not working these sidebars won't appear at all current method xcss low latency mode mentioned uncheck debug view save and I close let's just play the game check out the performance ok just observe the feathers on Wu Chang's left arm moving the camera around the feathers are not producing any ghosting unlike Nukem Nice mod FPS is close to 100 random NPC encounter didn't disable frame generation I am still observing some stuttering this is disappointing the latest update did not help much but the performance is still better than what it was in the launch version of the game which was a stutter fest observe Wu Chang's shadow XCSS frame generation makes the shadows look much sharper in Nukem 9's mod FSR frame generation not a big difference in terms of performance between XCSS frame gen and Nukem 9's mod XCSS frame generation has a slightly better latency than mod FSR frame generation it also produces less graphical artifacts so I would recommend using XCSS frame generation in this game before ending the video I'll show you how to disable TLSS debug overlay you just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier open it using notepad or any other text editor replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close run this registry file click on yes ok that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day